Hi guys, I'm G and you're watching G's Closet. Welcome back to my channel. So guys, today my video is a travel vlog guys. So I thought I will put together a travel vlog for you guys. Guys, since our airport is shut down and we cannot travel overseas, I thought I will take the opportunity to travel around Sri Lanka. Guys, Sri Lanka is a beautiful island. So there are many places that you can travel. So um, if you are following me on my Instagram, which is gscloset.lk, you guys must be already knowing that I was in Jaffna last week. Guys, you guys must have seen all my stories and my pictures uh, of this beautiful city. So guys, Jaffna is a must do if you are planning to visit Sri Lanka in the future or if you are a Sri Lankan, if you are living in Sri Lanka, I think guys, this is the best time to uh, travel around Sri Lanka. It's a beautiful island, so you get a lot of beaches around uh, Sri Lanka. Uh, guys, actually I really enjoyed my trip. So guys, I will show you where I visited in Jaffna and places that you can go and see in Jaffna. Uh, guys, the food in Jaffna is amazing guys. I mean, I really enjoyed uh, the food there. So hope you will enjoy my vlog today. So guys, before we go on to the vlog, if you are new here, my name is G and my channel is about luxury, fashion, beauty and travel. So if you guys like to see videos related to these topics, do subscribe to me by hitting that red subscribe button and the bell sign next to the subscribe button so that you guys will be notified whenever I upload a video. Also guys, if you are not following me on Instagram, do follow me on my Instagram, gscloset.lk. I will be posting my day-to-day -day outfits and my travel stories all in my Instagram. So do follow me there. So guys, let's jump into the vlog. So guys, we took a train to Jaffna. This is an express train to Jaffna, which uh, starts from Mount Lavinia station. Uh, since this is an express train, it reached Jaffna in about seven hours approximately guys so actually guys it's a very comfortable journey and you can see there is a lot of leg space in the train and guys I think this is the easiest way to reach Jaffna you could also drive up to Jaffna but that's going to be a bit of a tiring journey guys we got off at the last station which is not Jaffna which is Kanka Santuri as you can see it is also called KKS guys we didn't get off at Jaffna because our accommodation was closer to KKS so that this is the reason why we got off at uh, Kanka Santuri so guys as you can see this is the KKS uh, station you can see it's a very colorful station guys Uh, guys i did a quick outfit of the day so you can see i'm wearing my balman t-shirt and i'm wearing a track pant from h&m and for shoes i'm wearing my gucci espadrilles which i bought from uh, bista village in uk and guys as per the handbag i'm carrying my chanel gst bag So on the same day after lunch, we visited Dambakola Patuna. This is our, our first stop, guys. Uh, so this was one of our top uh, places to visit when we are in Jaffna. So this place has about a 2000 year history. So guys, it's a must see places in your Jaffna trip. So don't forget guys. So guys, this was an ancient port in Sri Lanka. So to preach Buddhism, the daughter of King Ashoka, who was um, called Sangamitta, arrived at this port. And guys, she brought the holy sepaling of Bodhi tree, which was planted by Sri Lankan uh, king at that time, who was called Devanam Pietissa. So this is the uh, small history about this place. So at present, guys, this tree is considered as the oldest tree in the world, which was planted by a human being. So guys, you can see that's the tree I was uh, talking about. And guys, this place uh, is a Buddhist temple right now. And you can see how beautiful it is. So guys, um, 
you can see the board um, you can see where exactly we are right now uh, guys so this is where we are Sri Sangamitta Vihara and um, you can see in the big uh, map that's where we are so guys it is said that this is the exact place that Sangamitta arrived they have made a small uh, boat and a little statue to show this place Our next stop was Kiri Malay Hot Springs. So, so many people around the world arrive here to enjoy a bath in the natural water spring. It is said that all illnesses and sicknesses will get cured after you have a bath here. So guys, you get two uh, separate sides for women and men. At the moment, what you can see is the men's side, which is open to the sky and uh, we couldn't see the women's uh, side because due to um, COVID-19 they have closed that part so guys after you have a dip here usually you go to the uh, temple nearby and pray so this is how you will be cured this is the ancient belief and now what you see is the Hindu temple guys you can see how beautiful the temple is inside you will see beautiful art and some uh, beautiful carvings guys this is also one of the must see places in Jaffna okay guys so after we reached the second day after breakfast the first thing we did was we visited Nagadipa island so this is an island um, which is situated close to Jaffna in the northern part of Sri Lanka two important temples are located on this uh, island one is the Hindu temple uh, which is an Amman temple and the Buddhist Nagadipa Vihara is also situated in this island so guys to get to Nagadipa island you have to take a boat ride which is a beautiful boat ride guys so you can see from a distance uh, the temple uh, the Buddhist temple and also the Hindu temple and guys uh, this is how we arrived at the uh, Nagadipa Vihara the Buddhist temple and there's a bit of a pathway towards the temple which is so beautiful guys so guys um, what you can see now is the uh, Buddhist temple Nagadipa Vihara guys inside the buddhist temple there is a little museum which you must see guys it's a beautiful museum you will see a lot of uh, ancient uh, items and some uh, buddhist statues and a lot of uh, historical uh, things guys i really enjoyed this part of the temple So after seeing the um, Nagadipa Vihara, which is the Buddhist temple, we did a little tuk-tuk ride uh, up to the Amman temple, which is the Hindu uh, temple, which is close by and it is also situated in this uh, Nagadipa island. So you guys can see um, the outside of the uh, Hindu temple. Guys, um, I couldn't record inside because it was not permitted. So after Nagadipa Island, our next stop was uh, General Kubbak Hadwa's memorial. So guys, he was killed during the LTTE war in 1992 along with 11 other army officers. So what you see now is his uh, memorial.
so guys now we are coming to my favorite part of the journey this was one of my favorite places to visit this is the uh, Jaffna fort guys this is Jaffna fort guys and this was one of my favorite attractions simply because I thought it was a beautiful place for photographs guys established in 1618 by the Portuguese guys this fort is also famous as fortress of our lady of miracle of Jaffna so during the year 1658 this fort was conquered by the Duchess and again guys in in 1795 this fort was uh, taken over by the British and from the period of 1986 to 1995 this fort was captured by LTTE and it was recaptured by the Sri Lankan army in the year 1995 guys so guys after uh, seeing the Jaffna fort we had our lunch and after lunch what we did was we visited Point Pedro so this is the most northern point of Sri Lanka guys it's called Point Pedro so guys there is a misconception that the most northern part is marked by the lighthouse of Point Pedro but the correct place is where you can see right now guys and guys you can identify the place by the uh, concrete board which you can see and also guys there is a painted flag next to this concrete board so guys our next stop after point pedro was the bottomless well uh, guys this was named the bottomless well because people had not uh, found the end of this uh, well so it hence it was called the bottomless well but uh, now guys the Sri Lankan Navy has found that the total depth of this well is 52 meters so guys after bottomless well we were planning to go to Nallur temple but on our way to Nallur temple we did a small stop at the Sankilian Topu uh, this place holds the memory of the last Tamil king who ruled the Jaffna kingdom you can still have a look at the ancient remains of the royal palace guys so then we went to Nallur temple uh, guys this is a Hindu temple this is one of the very famous temples in Jaffna and in Sri Lanka as well so the premises of the temple was built during the 18th century so uh, it was in the year 1620 when the Portuguese uh, destroyed the old construction of this building which was constructed during the uh, regime of Tamil kings this temple is now considered as the primary place to hold any type of religious festivals so at the end of the second day of our Jaffna journey after doing all the sightseeing guys we were quite tired so we did a small stop uh, to the Rio ice cream place which is a very famous uh, ice cream brand here in uh, Jaffna on the third day of our Jaffna trip uh, we did a few other places as well so the first stop was Kandarude temple this is another amazing destination guys which you should include into your uh, list of uh, things to do in Jaffna uh, guys this is an ancient buddhist place in Jaffna which is known for its historical events so after the temple uh, we did another stop at the um, archaeological museum so guys I couldn't take any pictures or video videos inside the museum because it was not allowed so if you are here guys and if you like to see museums this is also a must do guys so guys um, on the third day evening we uh, as our last uh, place we wanted to do something very relaxing so guys we uh, went to Casuarina beach 
Guys, the main attraction of this beach is the white sand. This beach has been named after casuarina tree, which are available all through the beach, guys. And guys, you can have a dip in this sea. And the best part is, guys, there are no waves here and you can just walk into the beach, guys. Guys, you can see how beautiful it is. If you go uh, in the evening, guys, it's going to be really refreshing and it's going to be a beautiful sight, guys. Guys, I absolutely love this uh, destination. And guys, if you are a person who absolutely love beaches like me, this is definitely a must do, guys. And make sure you take proper clothes to have a proper dip in the beach. enjoyed my Jaffna vlog and if you're waiting to go to Jaffna and if you're thinking where you would want to visit in Jaffna hope this video would be helpful to you guys and guys if you enjoyed my video if you like this video do give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet do subscribe to me by hitting that red subscribe button and the bell sign next to the subscribe button so that you guys will be notified whenever I upload a video hope to see you guys soon in my next video until then have a great week and stay safe